In this video, we're going to introduce Boolean values. Boolean values contain two things, whether something is true or whether something is false. It doesn't contain anything else. But as you'll find out, Boolean values, values will be the cornerstone of how we build logic in our, in our Flash applications. So let's introduce a little bit about Boolean values and how you can start working with them. In this particular example, I'm not going to have anything on the stage. So I've gone entirely to a full screen code view for this example. So what we're going to do is create a Boolean value. Before, when we were working with Boolean values, you might have remembered when we worked with the visible attribute, it was a value of either true or false. These are examples of Boolean values. You can create a specific Boolean value on your own by creating a value that's going to be of a, of a Boolean type. So we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call this my truth. We're going to say that this is not going to be a number or a string, but it's going to be a Boolean. I can then assign a specific value to this, either true or false. You notice that when I type in true, it turns blue. True, it never needs to be inside a quotation mark. True itself, without the quotation marks, represents a Boolean value of true. I could also replace this with false if I wanted to. You notice that it also turns blue. I can use the truth statement in other functions as well. For example, I'm going to use it to output something to the trace statement. I can use trace and output my truth. If I run this, you'll see that the output panel displays false because that's the value that I've assigned into, inside of, the particular, of this particular statement. I can assign specific values to Booleans that already exist using, using, basic, uh, use, using other properties. So in this case, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a var variable my truth again, is a Boolean. And just like any other value, I can assign it the value of another Boolean value. So I'm going to say my equals my truth. I'm going to then send that to the output statement. My Output my truth again. And you now see that I get two false statements. Boolean values by assigning either a true or a false are a good way to determine whether or not something is on or off. But the real power of a Boolean is whether or not I can determine if something is, if a different condition is true or false. So next, I'm going to introduce some really basic equality statements to show you how we can use these equality statements to give us true or false statements. So I'm going to use a equality statement that's going to evaluate whether or not the number 2 is equal to the number 2. We all know that that's true, but let's actually do that in ActionScript to show you how this works. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it evaluation. And then give this a type of Boolean. I'm then going to use an equality operator to see if the number 2 is equal to the number 2. The equal sign is the assignment operator. We've been using that throughout all the different videos we've been doing here. Equality also uses the equal sign, but it has two equal signs. Sometimes you can get mixed up between the two, but always remember that equality uses a double equal sign. So we want to ask whether or not the number 2 is equal to the number 2. So as you can see, we have two on the left side, and we have two on the right side, and we're using this equality operator inside that's going to ask, is right equal to what's on the left? I'm then going to trace evaluation. And I'm just going to, uh, going to comment out the top lines just to make this uh, clear in our output panel. All right, so I run the program. I get an evaluation of true because 2 does equal the number 2. Let's change this to, say, 3. We're going to ask, is 2 equal to 3? Well, we know that's false. Let's see, what, let's see what Flash tells us. Yes, it is false. These numbers can also be replaced by variables as well. So I can put in a new variable here that says, my value is a number. I'm going to give that to the number 5. I can ask, is 2 equal to my value? And as you can see, it's false because my value is equal to 5. So we're going to continue to use these equality statements and learn more about how to do more complex logic using Boolean values.